so welcome to the first episode uh, of Monthly Microphone Monday. Um, uh, this is a, this is a thing I'm going to do um, where every every month I'm going to pick a Monday, and um, presumably this will be out uh, some Monday in June, if not it's July. But you'll see once the video is up, you'll know better than I do because you live in the future. That's pretty crazy to think about if you think about it. And the idea behind Monthly Microphone Monday is just that I wanted to have fun testing out some cheap microphones. And when I say cheap microphones, I mean $20 or less. And uh, if I have a microphone that, you know, that could do that, basically the idea is just to, to ch check those out and see if I can get something that's good. Um, I assume it'll be fun anyways, and it might be nice to have it, you know, in addition to your setup, because having a nice microphone a lot of times can be very expensive. So if you can find a, a pretty good one, or one that's, you know, at least good enough, um, for 20 bucks or less, it could be a really nice improvement to your setup, especially considering a lot of uh, built-in mics on things like, you know, I don't know, computers, uh, uh, phones, cameras, a lot of times are not all that amazing. I'm also in a terrible room for the acoustics, so th that should also help make the microphone you're going to hear today sound better, um, so, I don't know, uh, that's, that's basically it, um, for the preface, that's it, we're just testing microphones, see how they sound, basically the way I'm going to do it is, uh, with, uh, essentially four tests, um, is the idea, just to see different kinds of things that might be good with, I'm no professional, I'm no audiophile, so I'm just doing some basic tests that I can do recording in Audacity, um, first test is just standard me talking, uh, the second test is going to be, uh, basically the same thing, but with some enhancements that I do when I use my Blue Yeti microphone for things, um, and see if that makes it sound better or worse or whatever, um, and then, um, a test of the, how it can record music, I guess, if you want to use it for recording some instruments or something and play a little demo for my keyboard, and then I'm uh, going to do uh, an ASMR test to see if it's good for making ASMR content. That's all stuff that at least would be, you know, interesting for me. Stuff like, you know, live video, music, um, edited video, uh, and uh, uh, ASMR. Uh, they're things. So, if you, uh, that, that's it for the intro. Sorry I talked so long. Let's, let's unbox the first microphone, which is in the title, so I don't know why I'm like, I can't say it yet, but it's a surprise if you clicked without really looking, I guess. I don't know. Alright, uh, I'll probably have to edit some of this, but first up, we got the unboxing here. Yeah, this one, I just randomly chose this one. It's, I think, a uh, says condenser microphone up here, but it's hard to hard to see uh, behind the, that. Um... Autofocus and lighting is going to be weird no matter where I am, I think. But, um, yeah, condenser microphone. The SF666. The microphone of the devil. Condenser microphone for chatting over QQ. I don't know what that is. MSN. I don't know if anyone uses that to chat anymore. Skype. I think some people maybe use Skype. And singing. For chatting over... Singing. Um... On the back, what do we got here? Condenser, microphone. It's kind of hard. My microphone stands in the way. If I do this, oh, that's a little better. <laughs> uh, what do we got up here? Recording vocals, acoustic instruments. Ooh, so you'll be good for that. Recorder. That's just saying things it works with. Wait, what? Language and other training. There's no space there. Um, train, training. Another training. Uh, Internet gaming, internet video chat, video conferencing. Um, God, I wish this was I wish this would focus a little better. Can I tilt this up a little more? Make it easier on me. Well, lights. There are lights everywhere. They don't make it easier. But natural lights over that way. So, uh, special design for chatting over QQ, MSN, Skype, and singing over internet. Give him a five stereo plug fit for all kinds of PC noisy cancellation. <laughs> period is a space and then a period there. There's also uh, no space 
before the Anna Noisy there. That's great. This is good. High quality. This is what I was thinking. Mic. Perfect voice recorder. Conveniently set with the help of stand and clip. High performance microphone. Accurately reproduces sound. Plug in and start recording. No extra gear needed. Weird choices for some of the punctuation here. Space before the comma as well as after. And the hyphen? I don't know. USB plug works with any USB equipped computer. Desktop mic stand, mic clip. That's the audio pattern, I guess. It's supposed to be omnidirectional and all the specification shit. And I don't know that any of that means anything. I sure as fuck don't know what it means. Most of it is the same. Um, so, that's, you know. I also must have 1.5 meters on the bottom here, and then 2 meters has no space, and it looks like it might even almost be a different, like, size. I think it's a different size font than the other one. Uh, yeah. And just a quick, uh, peek at the... Oops, need to autofocus back on this again. Hey. Hey. It probably won't. Auto focus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and then I took a snapshot of the page quick, so the, the official title on the page. Apparently the brand of this, I don't even think it says anywhere on this, the fucking brand. Um, well this also says SF, uh, negative six six B. So I don't know if it's both. Uh, it's, apparently the brand is Everbell. I don't think it says Everbell anywhere. Maybe it says it on the mic somewhere. We'll find out later. That's also good that this is just jutting out like this. is just jutting out like this. Like the package was just made so that thing doesn't slide all the way down, I guess. Or they didn't. Or it slid out. Maybe it slid out some during the shipping. It's just that week of a package, maybe. Maybe. Maybe everything's still in there. Maybe. Oh, this is all the specification. It's only one. Professional PC microphone, gaming mic, stand desk, jack, video recording, condenser, microphone for streaming, singing, vlogging, YouTube, computer, laptop, iPad, iPhone, 3.5 mm plug with splitter. Yeah. I actually never realized this came with a splitter. I, mean, I didn't even need to even buy a set of splitter. Let's open this fucking thing up already. I'll edit this together in post so it's exciting, maybe. Out of here, that just, that just falls right out. Nope, it doesn't say the brand up there. Out of here. Your five-star positive feedback would be much appreciated. Wow, you don't even want me to be honest about it. You just want me to have a five-star feedback? Okay, well. If for some reason you're not 100% satisfied, be conscious, and we'll fix any issues with your purchase or experience. Thank you for your business. Yeah, yeah. I will say this looks cool. Like, look at this. Like, just, like, visually? Uh, uh, oh, cardboard everywhere. Oh, I'm not used to being a pair of hands on the camera. I gotta look through the view, or the preview, whatever. Oh, that's light. That is incredibly light. Well, Riley, it looks... I mean, it looks really nice, like, visually. I think it, like, the... I don't know, like, it looks... This is kind of, like, rubbery down here. A little orange a bit. I think it's orange. Yeah, so it doesn't say the brand on that or anything, though. Okay, let's just... There's this, ooh, a red cord. Weird. Hardwired red cord. Um... And this is the splitter. Uh, yeah, you got that. It'll split it into two different things. That's cool. That's, uh, oh, for microphone and headphone. Wait, what? Oh, so this is may maybe is only a headphone jack. Or microphone jack. Or wait, this is yeah, stereo. So you have to plug this into the mic thing to plug it into the computer, maybe? We'll have to see. I'm not even sure now. I'm gonna set up the stand for it. Let's make it look all pretty. Nice stand here. You lied. Those just kind of feel like cheap plastic crap, but if it stands up, it's not like it has to be heavy duty. This isn't very heavy. Do you snap this in or are you supposed to slide it in? <sighs> yeah, it's supposed to kind of. Like that, I think. And then just, uh... And then we have our beautiful 
microphone. Uh, it's, uh, it's glorious. One well, does look neat, visually, I guess, but we will, uh, we'll have to see how it sounds. Let's, let's do some, let's do some tests. All right, so this is, um, just looking over there, my computer's over there, that's where it's recording. This is just kind of a standard test, a regular test of this, uh, to see what it would normally sound like under normal conditions of me kind of you know, talking. Sometimes I talk louder for video, sometimes I mumble for stream things. It might be a further away over here or something, but generally it'll sound like this. And when I went on to look at the, uh, on the computer, it's it's being saved, uh, or whatever. It's the frequency that I could select up to, it says it's stereo, up to, uh, up to 96 kilohertz, which is 96,000 hertz. Um, so I'm putting the project in Audacity to that and doing 32-bit float with a, a WAV file. So hopefully that'll give me the best, you know, audio quality I can. Obviously YouTube encodes and does all that stuff, so it'll be slightly different. But um, just a standard kind of test to, to see what the microphone sounds like. I don't know how stereo the stereo is, if that's up and down here, or if it's supposed to be the left and right there, if like because it has a little divider in the middle. So I don't know, but we'll we'll see we'll see how it sounds, or I guess we'll hear how it looks or will I should stop another uh, simple test to do here basically I just want to do a quick one um, talk a bit kind of like I probably normally would um, for most things if I'm not being mumbly quiet or I'm not being like very expressive and loud this is probably what it was r roughly sound like and I'm doing my little thing on uh, audacity that I usually do with my uh, blue yeti actually which is uh, my usual mic trick is to do um leave a little bit of blank space and uh, uh get rid of the uh audio the, the sound or whatever uh what is it sound cancellation or whatever you get the noise the noise sample and then you get rid of the background noise let's see if that does anything uh so i do that and i do um uh then i will do the uh I like a bass and treble pass on it which i boost the treble by one and the bass by three to make me sound a little bit more dynamic than I really do, I guess. And then I try um, to, uh, after that, I'll do the compressor so that it can help make it sound more even. Um, and uh, we'll see how that works on this. That's probably not gonna, you might need different setting, settings for different microphones, but that's my standard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and see if that can produce uh, good, cool results. I guess you will have already heard it because that's what the clip is. This is a test of a demo on the keyboard to see how music sounds.
I guess do it a bit more up close. You can probably hear the bird in the background and the fridge humming, but those are natural sounds you're just going to get sometimes. And uh, I guess whispers to see if whispers come in very good at all. I don't know. It looked like there was a large audio spike on there for something. I don't know what that was. Alright, so that's all the tests, and, um, I mean, I, uh, I recorded the unboxing at a way different time, but you can't really tell, so I don't even know why I bothered to tell you. Fun fact, did you know? Now you do, if you paid attention. Um, the SF666, uh, I did notice watching that footage back, though, from the unboxing, that I, <laughs> um, it mentioned stuff about connecting via USB, it didn't come with any way to connect it with USB, so I don't know. The little thing to connect your, you know, the headphones, you, you, you need those in there, you know, to make the microphone part work. Also, you can't just plug the microphone directly in, at least not into the the sockets that aren't made for just a microphone. There usually are the, whatever the TRSS sockets are. So, like, the thing you should keep in mind, you do need that part, but it comes with everything you need. Pretty impressed, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised for a $16 microphone how good this microphone is. Um, yeah, this cost me $15.99. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, maybe I did. I don't know if I did. But yeah, uh, it's a $16 microphone. You get a microphone that looks pretty nice, that uh, comes with a stand. And that stand is also makes it easy to hold. Uh, it's got the little splitter thing with it. Um, and... Uh, like I said, the sound quality is surprisingly good. Um, much better than I thought it would be. And, uh, I guess my only... Like, it even picks up, like, some... It's good for, like, you know, it's got the treble and it's got the bass in there. It's got, uh, a good mix of, like, being able to get things that are loud and things that are quiet. I think it's a, it's a pretty... It's a pretty good microphone. Um, again, for how cheap it is, too, especially. The only real downsides to it are that, um... Well, whenever you start up, it's a really loud, like noise immediately and then before it like figures out where the volume is so you know don't try to record something immediately once you turn the microphone on but other than that it the, the audio is you know consistent um there is uh, some background noise with it though that's not even just like the room background noise or anything so it's you know uh if you're gonna use it for you know recording voiceovers or something like that um and you can do some uh editing to it you know in post get rid of that background noise. I think it's more than good enough for the price. Um, and uh, with the range on the songs, like the sounds and stuff too, I think it probably might be okay if you just turn the mic down a bit maybe um, to get rid of some of that noise. You won't hear it as much. Or like for music, you won't necessarily hear that as much in the mix. You'd only hear it in like really quiet parts, that, that hiss in the background. So uh, that's something that yeah, you have to kind of, you have to work around. But uh, for like doing some calls and stuff, I think it would be passable. Um, so yeah, not a not a piece of equipment you want to use professionally or in some kind of like studio sense or anything crazy like that. But if you're just going to be casually, you know, in voice chats or streaming, maybe, maybe making some music with it, maybe um, I think it'd be all right for recorded video stuff where you're going to edit the audio for that anyways, which you might do with music and other things too. Um, if you're going to be editing the audio, I think it's a pretty good mic for the price. So that's that's the first one, and, and I don't know maybe. Maybe I just got lucky. Maybe microphones are just better than they think they are, even when they're cheap. So we'll we'll see. But um, that was the first one, and uh, I'd say I mean like let me know if you like the series and all that. But uh, you can wait until you've seen a couple of them because I got like four other microphones I think just sitting around waiting to do. Because I didn't know if I wanted to do this as one big video or make it a series as multiple. And I decided on series because I ramble too long and nobody's gonna want to watch this super long video of me trying to do these tests with every single one of these. So. That's uh, the first monthly microphone Monday down, and I'll see you next month for another cheap microphone. Maybe. Probably. I'll probably still do it, but I don't know if anyone will be there. <laughs>